Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Christina Aroche and I am the Archangel Channel. I'm a spiritual teacher, mentor, and healer and I am here to guide you on your journey of spiritual growth and awakening. And this channel is all about helping you to develop your connection to the angels. I teach about all the different archangels and other angelic beings. I give you tips and different tools to support you in your spiritual connection and in working with the angels. And I also share channeled messages from the angels on here as well. And so in this video, I am continuing the Archangel series, which is a series of videos where I talk about each Archangel individually and share about what each one's purpose is, about how they are here to guide you and support you, how to work with them. And at the end of each of these videos, I also do a mini guided meditation so that you can connect to the energy of that Archangel. So they will come in, you'll feel their energy. They often bring in some form of energy healing. So make sure that you stay until the end of this video so that you can connect with the angels. And in this video in particular, we are talking about Archangel Azrael. Okay, and so in this video, Azrael is coming forward and he's gonna be sharing about what he does, his purpose, and how he shows up to support each and every single one of us and um, support our journey. And so Azrael is actually an angel that I personally have not connected to that much. Like he has not shown up for me in my journey, in my work, as much as any of the other archangels. And the reason why Azrael is more of like a quieter kind of, you know, if I had to describe him some way, kind of standing in the background type of angel is because his role is really about the end of our soul's journey, okay? And so this is about when our soul is transitioning out of our human form. And so, of course, he has an important role, but it's often for those who are about to leave Earth. And that's why he doesn't really step forward for anything that I do because it's not very relevant. Um, but he is an archangel nonetheless, and he does support us. And it, it, as people who are here on the spiritual journey, who are connecting with angels, we can call on him and ask him to support, especially those, anyone that we know around us, loved ones, or even people that we don't know. You know, if we hear about anything on the news or whatever, um, to, add, to call on him and ask him to support those people who may be going through that transition and moving on from their human form and going back into the spiritual world. And so Archangel Azrael, the way that he shows up for me, the way that I see him is it's actually in a number of different colors. And the only other angel who shows up in many different colors is Archangel Raziel. Um, but Archangel Raziel and Azrael are very different. And the color that they show up in is very different as well. So Archangel Raziel, which is the other angel, he shows up in like a whole bunch of rainbow colored energy. And there's just this rainbow of energy around him. And he also has a certain look and feel to his energy. Whereas Archangel Azrael, the dominant colors are purple, blue, orange, and green. However, I have seen some variation of those colors as well, okay? And so his overall energy is more like a purple and blue color. And then it's like he has this stream of energy that kind of goes around his head, like around here, where it will be those lighter colors like orange, green. Um, I've also seen yellow, I've seen red. So it just kind of depends. So it's kind of like he has rainbow colors as well, but they're not the same like Archangel Raziel. Archangel Raziel, it's like a huge, stream of all the different colors, all the rainbow, the rainbow energy, all together, kind of like all around his entire body. And Archangel Azrael <laughs> looks different, okay? So that's how he shows up for me. That's how I see him, That those are his colors. Now, like I said, his main role is to support those who are passing over, the ones who are, the souls who are leaving their human experience and who are transitioning into the spiritual realms. And so his roles, Archangel Azrael's role, is to come and bring comfort to those who are transitioning. He also helps them to know what their um, 
what their next step is in terms of the path, you know? So as souls transition, they go through a series of different steps, if you will, you know, where they first transition out of the human form and then they slowly begin to shift into different realms. There's also a stage where they do kind of like a life review and they review their choices and the lessons and all the things that they did as a human on earth. And, um, and then they continue on into the spiritual realms, into whatever the next phase is of their journey, you know, whether they're meant to incarnate again or whether they're meant to spend some time in the spiritual realms, whether, you know, whatever it is that they're supposed to be doing, and it's different for everyone. But Archangel Azrael supports that whole process, supports them in making that transition and in guiding them on their path in terms of what, to, what, what they're meant to do next as they move into the spiritual realms, okay? And so that way it, it allows the souls to not feel alone, to not feel any form of, you know, uncertainty or discomfort or, you know, whatever. And, and because different souls will be at different levels when it comes to their time to pass and they may have a greater awareness and understanding of everything that's happening or they may not. And so souls will have these different characteristics and aspects, whether they feel comfortable and they know kind of like, yes, I know what I'm doing and I know that this is my time or some souls may feel a bit uncomfortable or uncertain. And so Archangel Azrael supports them and he helps them to feel safe and comfortable in the transition and he guides them forward. Okay. And so what we can do in terms of us working with Archangel Azrael, because like I said, I don't really, uh, he, he never steps forward with in my work and what I do. And so what, we, but what we can do in order to ask for his guidance and support is if we know someone around us, you know, a loved one, a friend, whoever, um, who is going through that transition, we can call on him to ask and support them. When we know, you know, when it's those final moments, when we know that they are moving on or after it happens, we can call on Archangel Azrael and ask him to support their soul. The other thing that he will do is he will help comfort us as well. You know, I mean, obviously it's not, easy at all um to lose a loved one and so our uh, calling on archangel azrael will help us as well with easing that pain and easing that grief and going through that transition because it's still a transition for us even if we are still alive uh easing our transition as the soul leaves and continues on with its journey okay so we can call on archangel azrael to support that and like I said before, even if it's not someone that you personally know, but let's say, you know, unfortunately we hear about tragedies that happen all around the world, we can call on Archangel Azrael to ask and support those souls who may have passed on for whatever reason, um, to help guide them and support them and bring healing and love to those souls. Okay, so that's our role that we can we we can play in order to work with Archangel Azrael and ask him to come and bring comfort to other people. So it is a really great um, connection to have with Archangel Azrael because it, um, you know, clearly that that connection is really more about us praying and bringing love and light to other people, um, and so 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 that's 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 the role that he plays. So right now I'm going to do a quick mini meditation just so that you can feel his energy, so you can know what he feels like, what he looks like. And um, that way, if if you ever connect with him or have to call on him or anything like that, you will know his presence and you will know what he feels and you, you will feel the immense comfort and love that he brings. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to close your eyes right now. And as you close your eyes, just tune into your breath and just allow yourself to get centered here. Allow yourself to connect to the flow of energy as it moves through your body. And as you're here, Archangel Azrael is going to step forward and he's standing directly in front of you. And as he is here, he is taking your hands, he's holding your hands. And as he does, you're going to feel how he brings this immense love and peace in through your hands that moves up your arms and into your heart space. So I want you to feel this love that he brings to you and the sense of comfort and support that comes with his energy. I want you to just feel what his energy feels like. 
What characteristics do you feel about him? What do you see? And just allowing this flow and this connection with him to just bring you this greater sense of awareness and understanding of who he is. And just feel his energy as he gives you this big hug, letting you know that he loves you, that he supports you, and that he is here for any reason in which that sense of peace, that relief from grief is needed. And so he's going to take a step back and, um, but before he fully steps away, what he's going to do is he's going to bring a stream of white light that comes in from above and that white energy is going to come all the way down. It's going to enter in through the top of your head into your crown chakra and it's going to flow. It's going to go, it's, it's going to swirl into your body, through the center of your body. And you're going to feel this sense of love and peace and connection from source energy coming in and feel how that light and that energy begins to expand and emanate outwards. Just allow yourself to be connected to this energy of love and of light. And so from here, you can take a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. And just begin to tune back into your body, your hands, your feet, your legs. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And welcome back. So that is Archangel Azrael. That is what he feels like. That is what he looks like. So that is the type of energy that he brings to us. So having said that, I would love to hear from you. So let me know uh, what your experience was like in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions about Archangel Azrael. Um, the other thing I want to let you know is that if you want to check out any of my other Archangel videos, then go check them out right here. And of course, the other thing to let you know is that I do have a course, an online course, self-study course that is called Connecting with the Angels. And so if you want to deepen your connection to the angelic realms, if you want to learn how to work with them, how to connect with them, how to deepen your connection and strengthen that connection with them, then this course is definitely for you. So go and check it out. The link with the description and everything that is included in this course, it can be found at the link below in the description of this video. So go and check it out. Um, and I would love to see you inside the course. Now, if you know anyone who needs to hear this message, message, anyone who is interested in the Archangels, make sure that you share this video with them. If you enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed yet to this channel, make sure that you subscribe so that you do not miss any other future videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I am sending you so much love and angel blessings, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.